simply a tragic situation. Three lives lost far too soon. We have been telling you about the crash near South Haven that killed a woman and two little girls. The uh, two backseat uh, passengers, the little kids, we couldn't find any car seats or anything. No car seats. Police say the girls were not properly restrained. We don't know what impact that may have had on their deaths. The crash was allegedly caused by a drunk driver. Everyone's heard that child safety seats are important, but this crash is the ultimate example of just how crucial they are to keeping kids safe. Jennifer Hoekstra is with the Safe Kids Coalition. She joins us to talk a little bit more about what's going on out there in the world of car seats. Thanks for joining us once again. Absolutely. What's the law? Where does the law stand right now having to do with car seats? Right now, our law in Michigan says all children under the age of eight or shorter than four foot nine must be properly restrained, restrained in some type of child seat. So we're really looking at hitting those kids for a long time. And you know, yeah. once parents start with that new baby, we like to tell them, hey, you guys are gonna have car seats in your car for a long time. And it really is to save lives. Yeah, it is. And tell us about the education. Are people willing to go through this? Do they get bored? Do they just sort of get into their daily routines and say, oh, we're fine. We're just running here. We're just running there. And it's you know, not really a big deal. It is. And there are, there are different spans of people out there. Some people really take it very seriously. They ask for help a lot and we love that. Sure. We have no problem with people calling us on a weekly basis if they need it, just reminders. But more so we do have people that, oh, I figured it out when they were little. I think it, it can't be too hard now as they get older. And things change based on the age of your child, on the weight of your child, sure. the height of your child. And it is very important to stay vigilant with each stage and to not be eager to jump from stage to stage. Right, even if the kids are complaining. Exactly. I know when my son got a little bit older, he didn't want to be in right. the booster seat right. or something like yeah. that, but it matters, it's a big it deal. It is, you know, and at Safe Kids, which is a program at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, we really are committed to the education. We want to mm. make sure that parents know they can ask questions, and no question is a bad question. Right. We want to give them the information so that they can keep their kids safe on every ride. Why aren't seatbelts enough? You know, in some situations with older kids that are tall enough, seatbelts are enough. But truly with those little child, little kids, they've got to be restrained properly so that the absorption of the crash happens on the strong bones of their body. And there's five big reasons that restraints save lives. And the biggest one is to spread the crash forces over a wider area of the body. So they can withstand the mm -hmm. impact. Absolutely. What about people that can't afford car seats? You know, at Safe Kids at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, we have a great program to work with families to help them get car seats if they need them or to check seats that they may have. If they're borrowing seats from someone, we can help them figure out if they're safe seats to use. So okay. they can always find our information at the website at HelenDeVosChildrens.org slash Safe Kids or they can call us at 391-SAFE. Okay, and Sounds we have great. that information on our website at WoodTV.com. Jennifer Hookstra, thanks so much for joining us from Safe Kids Coalition. You're welcome.